For citizens like Sunil, who lives with his family in Begumpeet, a few hours outside the city of Hyderabad, accessing healthcare has long been a challenging task. The distance, the time and the effort required in getting even the tiniest ailment checked has resulted in very few medical checkups. That is, until an idea came calling. A free telephone service has been created for the people of Andhra Pradesh where they can call up for medical advice. This project has been funded by the government of Andhra Pradesh and is the brainchild of the group HMRI. It stands for Health Management Research and Research Institute. Our focus is to democratize healthcare. Um, one of the key challenges in healthcare is uh, the barriers that are there for people to access health, especially healthcare services. Run out of the offices of HMRI in Hyderabad, 104 Advice has a robust call center which houses a very sophisticated system by which the callers are tracked and matched with the appropriate healthcare specialists. The minute like you know when the, the beneficiary just give a call to the 104 or the 1056, first it lands to the one of the registration officer. From the registration officer based upon the taking the all the required information from the beneficiary and then that call will be transferred to the next level call health advisory officer. That is the way the exactly the service of the particular health advice will be given. We got a something called uh, different algorithms uh, based upon the different uh, diseases as well as the disease summaries. Keeping that into the consideration, the health advisor officer will give the health information to the concerned beneficiaries. If the first level of medical advice is not satisfactory for the beneficiaries, they are transferred to the next level. Here, HMRI has employed retired doctors to come give much needed medical advice through shifts. Here, we are uh, 70 to 80 doctors work in this HMRI in three shifts. Each shift uh, around 20 to 25 doctors work and uh, in the morning shift, afternoon shift and evening shift and uh, this center, call center works for 24 hours and uh, in a week and 365 days in a year. The doctors also use algorithms like the health officers before them so that patients can be diagnosed in a standardized manner. And making further use of technology, SMSs are incorporated into their next steps. As it is, uh, our prescriptions of drugs is done by SMS. All the prescription, we don't allow our doctors and paramedics to give the prescription by uh, verbally. Because the phonetically, some of the drugs sound very similar. For example, there is a drug known as Aldopar, Eldopar. Aldopar is for BP, Eldopar is for bowel movement. That is, if you have loose motions, you use Eldopar. So that type of mistake can happen. For the users who don't have cell phones, a code is given and the prescription can be obtained by the local pharmacist on his cell phone. So we have listed all these drugs. The drugs are the system is programmed, the SMS is, once the age is given there, automatically it will pick up what should be the dose, what should be the modality. 104 has been operating for four years and averages about 40,000 calls a month. Of these, many don't need medical advice but psychiatric care. For this, 104 has a separate counselling section. Uh, every year we save around or prevent 300 people from committing suicide. Um, all kinds of interesting calls come, like one girl called, just in uh, love or whatever, 21-year-old, you know, 19-year-old girl. She just called us to find out as to how many sleeping tablets she should take to actually die. Uh, I said, why do you want to take sleeping tablets? I said, look, my life is all gone, you know, this guy ditched me and, and I said, what the heck, you know, how people can counsel and things like that. The helpline has benefited some unusual suspects as well. Young mother of two, Rita, runs a sari shop from her house and was looking to get some information about family planning. Without having to leave her home unattended or even book an appointment, she got all the advice needed simply by making a phone call. <laughs> अच्छे से मुझे जवाब मिला है डर्मोलॉजिस्ट कार्डियोलॉजिस्ट गायनोकोलॉजिस्ट सबसे मैंने बात कर चुकी है फॉर अ पॉपुलेशन ऑफ 8 करोड़ इन आंध्र प्रदेश मोर देन 3 करोड़ पीपल हैव मोबाइल फोन्स एंड द वॉल्यूम ऑफ कॉल्स फ्रॉम ईगर सिटीजंस लाइक रीता ब्रिंग अ न्यू सेट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स टू द टेबल one is this stressful work. The people who are sitting there and answering the people 6 hours regularly with their work so it causes stress on them 
and secondly after few years or months and years it becomes a very monotonous because the same question they will have to be asking we cannot invent new things in medicine so quickly but even then we try to uh, revise and add some new things some uh, whatever new information is coming we try to pump it into the algorithms we also advise also we change depending upon the new medicines which are available but one tends to become monotonous so that is how to keep the interest of the associates is one thing however the use of ict tools in creating a death of distance cannot be denied as it has been noted many callers use the service either as a second opinion and more often to check if the problem is serious enough to warrant a hospital visit our sense is that we save the people uh, at least in this project in ap we have to do similar calculation for assam as well where we run a call center there as well close to 300 crores keeping the same spirit of service HMRI's other projects include telehealth centers and mobile healthcare vans and are being piloted in Assam as well but it is a helpline that has really resonated with the people now with other states having approached the body hoping to set up their own this is a welcome trend in using ICTs to both reduce the cost and increase the reach of healthcare in India